what's going on with your YouTubes? Oh, I'm sweating like a son of a bitch. Got ourselves a couple of wand wood pieces. I've been going outside to collect more wand wood after a bit, but I figured I'd stop by real quick and make a live video, just hang out with y'all. And we got something interesting to review for YouTube. This is the Bud Light Seltzer Retro Summer Limited Edition, the tie-dye pack. We got three seltzer flavors. It's a 12 pack. So we'll see how they taste. We'll do a review of those. And for future reference, I'm not going to be pulling out my shotgun on camera because it's just, it's a great way to get in trouble with YouTube. And I'm grateful that Susie didn't take down my YouTube channel. Okay. Now your boy Cobra is not fucking around. Yeah, your boy Cobra is not fucking around. The last thing the trolls see. <laughs> yes. Shh, be very, very quiet. We're hunting for pedos. Ha ha. Drink to that. Strap yourselves in. We got an Isaac Butterfield video response. Also, yes, I was not really drunk in my Terrence Pot video response. Otherwise, you would have seen me stumbling. But I was walking a straight line. And this is Wyoming. We love our guns. We love our beer. And we love our trucks. If you got a problem with that, kiss my Wyoming night ass. And speaking of beer... Look at what we got here. We got ourselves a 12-pack of Bud Light Seltzer Retro Summer Tie-Dye Limited Edition. Three new flavors of seltzer, cherry, lime, blue, raspberry, and summer ice. Cool, cold, refreshing Bud Light Seltzer Ice. Not a sponsor. If I did this and tried to act Asian, you would look at me like I was the biggest racist piece of shit on the planet. Yet somehow, this British dude... Who identifies as a non-binary Korean and gets away with it. Only instead of using his hands, he gets a bunch of plastic surgery. I do have Scottish Viking ancestors. Shout out to the McNeil clan. The Scottish clan colors are black and green and gold. Which is ironically Kelly Walsh's colors, but I went to the Toronto County. Now we can't fit all fucking three cans in there, but we'll do a big ass drink combo with all three flavors just for the fans. We're going to mix some Bud Light Seltzers, all three of their tie-dye flavors, into 
one glass. This is like Badlands Chug status, YouTube. Oh, shit. And cooled off on the alcohol after I chugged this Viking horn of it. Jesus Christ is a cunt. And if you follow Cobra's gun safety tips, step one is keep your gun empty unless you have to use it. Step two, never point your gun at anything unless you intend to shoot that target. Step three, you can keep your gun and your ammo separate, but if you're using it for a home defense type situation, keep it empty unless you have to use it. When I build my clock tower mansion, I'm going to have 47 bells on a carillon. And the 48th bell is going to be on a hemp rope. That just gives me an even four octaves. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's four octaves evenly. And you know what I'm saying? And I should be able to play the majority of songs. Like sit there playing with the Star Spangled Banner on my clock tower where fireworks are <laughs> bursting off in the background. Or hosting elegant Christmas parties and playing jingle bells on my clock tower while everyone's getting drunk and shit faced. I mean, shit, dude. My clock tower measure would be the spot in town. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You want to hear Star Wars played on some Carillon bells? There you go. If I can't buy a wand from Ollivanders, I'll fucking make my own. This one's got a black blade with a green tip and a green handle and black leather and this green orb. Dragon's Opal is what I would call it. It's fire opal that's been squished into a dragon's nest. As soon as all the dragons have hatched and flown the coop, the opal is retrieved and it turns a neon green like snake venom. King Cobra fam, I'm gonna chug the rest of this. Fucking drink the last one and watch this on Rick and Morty. I wanna go watch the new Rick and Morty episode of She Choked Me In. YouTube, working on wands outside, propping them up to dry on the inside once they're dry enough. I am not having a good Monday. I don't want to get into it. It is what it is. Oh, 
don't want to say this is going to be my last video for a while. I want to focus on making lawns for Etsy and just getting my life together and figuring some shit out. Next couple of days, even a couple of months, there's going to be less booze and less DoorDash and just getting my shit done and making it happen. You're not going to see me smoke weed on camera, whether it's CBD or not. Unless, of course, I'm either in my own paid-for house or it's legal. You're not going to see me pulling out my gun to show it off on YouTube, regardless if there's alcohol or not. Like, I can't just exist, you know? It's a long story, YouTube, and I don't want to get into it on camera. It's just... Your boy Cobra is struggling as usual, but it'll get better. Making YouTube videos is stressing me out. Well, let's just be real with it. It's not making me any money. And, uh, you know, got to go where the money's at. So I want to be focusing on my wands and my my uh, Teespring merch and my tactical soap and my music. Like my account is already in the negative for like 30, 40 bucks. So, and it just, it gets to a point where you start self-reflecting and you're like, what am I doing with my life right now? And if it's not the best situation I could be presenting myself with, and I say to myself, I could do better. So I started Cobra Craft Wands, and the trolls have tried their damnedest to ruin that, and it hasn't worked. I'm still self-employed through Cobra Craft, but uh, which is good, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to stop making videos. I just feel like a break is is needed phone's blown up jesus christ All hate text messages are going to get blocked and deleted from my phone. I'm not even responding to it, so it's just pointless on the assholes. I dealt with some shit earlier that I would rather not discuss on YouTube. But I think the break from YouTube will be good for me. And it'll be better for the people... You know, the wrong people for the right reasons kind of thing, I guess. Exactly my point. Keep shredding the guitar. Fuck the trolls and keep shredding the guitar. Yeah, I'm not answering that. Now, I ordered a pizza earlier from Little Caesars. The main topping is bacon, and we got bacon and onions on a stuffed crust pizza with mozzarella cheese. And uh, I asked for two cups of garlic butter, but they gave me three. Mm. Give you an update on what I'm eating for tonight. I refuse to give up, YouTube. I'm going to keep going no matter what it takes.
Anyways, fam, I'll catch you later.